Okay, this is the Alter Astro Premium White Field uh, uh, Flat Field 18 millimeter eyepiece. I tested it in the day, and I'm now testing it on the M42 Great Oreo Nebula in the night. And I must say, I'm really impressed. Uh, the field of view is flat. No absolutely astigmatism anywhere in the image. Not even near the edges. And uh, I'm really impressed. It's completely flat. It's elegant. You just look at it and you feel that, oh, you're as if there is no eyepiece between you and the, the stars. It's just you're looking through a window. I'm really impressed. This is a quality eyepiece of... I have this experience probably with no other eyepiece. This is such a lovely piece of engineering, optical engineering. I'm impressed, really impressed. I love this and I think that this is a very good quality. The word premium uh, is well, well suited here to describe this eyepiece. I'm very happy with this purchase. And I'm using different eyepieces. This is a Teleview Nagler and 7mm original or tape 1 as they call it. This is Teleview 40mm uh, plus or I'm using Orion Expanse uh, 20 millimeter, and I'm using this uh, Sky Watcher Nirvana 60 millimeter, 82 degrees. And all of these I've used. This one is really nice. This one is something else. No, absolutely no interference with the light. We are looking at the stars without any interference, without any, you know, as if the eyepiece and the, there is nothing between you and the star. Amazing, beautiful. Even the way this eyepiece slides into the eyepiece holder, focuser, is premium. It just gently slides into it, no effort, nothing. Uh, I cannot say that about some other eyepieces, including this Nagler. It's a pain to push it through the eyepiece holder. <laughs> this is good, good quality. Uh, I compare now the image quality with this butter. Hyperion, Hyperion, 21 millimeter. So this is this one, which is the Alter Astro Premium uh, Flat Field, 18 millimeter. Um, give very sharp focus this Alter Astro Premium. This one, first it has astigmatism. You at the edge of the thing, almost 40 percent to the edge, you see this shape of the stars change uh, of course i'm using a f5 i think or six telescope here it's a refractor sky watcher uh, 1200 uh, focal length and uh, sorry uh, yeah 120 um, diameter the lens and 600 millimeter the uh, fo uh, focal length that makes it f5 and uh, with this one not only it has astigmatism you don't see the clear image uh, after 40 percent near the 40 percent to the edge of the uh, thing. it doesn't go to sharp focus also uh, i could see the zeta orion sigma orion is completely all the members of it with this and the other eyepiece that i can see the sigma orion is the uh, max vision explore scientific max vision 40 millimeter with this one i cannot see the, some of the members of that star system binary star system so i'm a little bit disappointed uh, i'm really delighted with this one alter astro premium okay now i have uh, uh, compared again, and I can say that Butter Hyperion and uh, uh, Alter Lightwave are almost neck and neck um, in the 
you know, suppression of the sigma or units. And uh, I have a feeling this is because of atmospheric condition it changes sometimes. And yeah, they're they're comparable to each other. Sure. Further Hyperion. And Alter Astro. Eighteenth millimeter. I think I will I will use both of them. Both of them are look looking better. The spider has a brother has a bigger lens. I don't know what's the, the size of the true field of view. Probably sixty eight. This is around seventy. Sixty eight or seventy. And both of them are nice. Having said that, um, I think that the uh, Alter Premium, uh, the build quality of it is uh, better. And uh, the differences I saw in the optical quality probably was because I was looking the the Sigma units and the uh, Great Orion Nebula in 42 was passing through the branches of the tree, so sometimes you couldn't see clear. But uh, optically, they're very similar. Father um, Hyperion has a bigger eye lens, and uh, the build, mechanical build quality of this is better. It's easily sliced there. Is almost all of it is has an enamel in 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 it, and so it's easy. Uh, slightly smaller also and lighter but the Hyperion is heavy and uh, trying to dis resolve the Sigma Orionis is a test for me just to see uh, how is the optical quality and I have had no difficulty with Aldo Astro to actually resolve that um, Sigma Orionis to all these seven components but there, the closer components you could not show all the time. Sometimes it shows, most of the time it doesn't show. With this one, it snaps to the focus. Um, this is a better eyepiece. This gives bigger field of view, probably. And the stars are nice and beautiful. Of course, astigmatism is a problem in it, but other than that, it's all right. This one, no problem. Build quality premium really and um, Alter Astro easily resolve the four components of the trapezium in the Great Orion Nebula M42 I think that's it theta yeah it easily resolves all of them at all times this one it doesn't come most of the times to be able to show all the components and uh, yeah, definitely this eyepiece Hyperion has a distortion problem. It doesn't really give complete round stars. This one easily gives round stars, the Alter Astro Premium. Uh, Bother Hyperion slightly has a larger field of true field of view. Uh, probably 70. This one is 65 to 68. This wild field of view of this is more pleasant, but the stars doesn't come really like this one into focus. So, hmm. Trapezium clearly can be snapped into four components of it. Anyway, if I told that uh, Sigma Orion is seven components, what I could see actually was six, so I correct myself. Uh, with the Bader Hyperion, I see five of them. The sixth one is not always there. And you look, but this one always shows this. This Alto Astro is one of the best auspices I've ever had looked through. Build quality and optics, 
really good excellent that's premium 